freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Welcome to my channel, my name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. I always, always planned to vlog today, but I did not plan for it to start this way. We are currently on the M4, <laughs> just after Reading, and we've had a blowout. Currently in a live lane. We are in a live lane and we've had a blowout on the mid-lift axle. Um, also fully freighted. We've got bits of tire everywhere. The tire, the tire has exploded and it's gone everywhere. It's in the it's in the road somewhere, up the road. Not sure where. This is uh, not good. Last time I had a blowout, someone said, "Why don't I lift the mid lift axle up?" I'm bloody trying, mate. I've managed to get the axle up. So we should be able to continue on. Right. Mid lift axle is up, so we're just going to pull forward. The issue I had is that the tyre was actually around. I've lost the tyre. The tyre's in the middle of the road somewhere back behind me. I need to make a call so. But I've managed to lift the axle up, so we're just going to roll forward because I believe there's a hard shoulder around here. Because we are actually in a live lane. Be a bit more safe around here. We actually want to go towards London, so we've taken the completely wrong turn now, but I needed to get off. <coughs> I think we're just stuck here because we're off the road completely now. The vehicles can still get past. And should they want to close lane one, then they can. And still get vehicles round. I think that's the best bet. Right, need to make a call now and tell them I'm here. It uh, doesn't, doesn't appear to be any damage to the wing. The, uh, the actual tyre itself is well over there somewhere. I managed to get the axle up. There's no hissing or anything. But I do need to check the rest of the truck because I ran over it. <laughs> so that needs sorting. And I ran over it as well back here. Yeah, so I've just got to sort out that rear wing and then it should be all good. I got I got bits of tire still all over the truck. It might actually be. Is there anything on the top? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, tire. Tire just went bang. These things unfortunately happen. Now we still are in, well, we're actually on the hard shoulder now. So it's a bit safer. We are actually now on the hard shoulder. So we're off lane one a bit, but it's sort of borderline. And obviously when they come to fix the tire, they are gonna be right here. So it's gonna be a lane closure, I think. I think they're gonna cone this section off then people can still get down there on the left. Now, we didn't actually want to come down here at all, but now we've got to go left and go up and around and come back and back up again, so. I've got dirty hands now as well, I'm trying to sort stuff out. It didn't, I don't think it's caused any damage, not any major damage anyway, but it has pushed my rear wing out of it. This bit. But it's safe. It's on, it's not coming off. 
I just need to twist the bar, but um, it's okay for now. As for the rim, well, it's definitely been run on. <laughs> it's not that hot anymore. It was really hot to begin with, but there's no dents on the rim, so it should be good. Given the tyre fitters, of course, so they're going to be on their way out. Time now is uh, 8.23. So we just literally got to wait now for tire fitters to come out and fix the tire. I did, I actually, I was going to vlog today, but I did not plan for it to start this way. <laughs> there we go. Just waiting for the tire fitter to come. Nice. Da -da -da, we got somehow. Yeah, the lights are on behind, so they're going to stay behind me. So I'm back outside. Just given my number. They've given me their number. I think they're going, actually. Yeah, I think they're actually going. They've deemed me safe because I'm on a hard shoulder now. And they come back when we need a lane closure. Uh, obviously, there's no tyre fitter yet, so we don't need the lane closure yet. So I think that's the plan. I think. I think they'll come back... Uh, when we need them. <laughs> there we go, and they're off. Cheers for your help. I think they'll be back later, I think. So yeah, now now I'm just left here by myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, uh, you just gotta stay calm in those sort of situations. There's not an awful lot you can do. I heard the bang, just went bang. I could see it was in my, in my mirror. I could see it was then wobbling. I was already in lane one. There's no hard shoulder. What can I do? I, I'm doing, you know, 56 miles an hour. Just had a blowout in a live lane with vehicles behind me. I can't just come to a complete standstill because I'm just going to get rammed up the arse. Like, do you know what I mean? I know, okay, some people might like that, but I, I'm i not accustomed to that. <laughs> so you've got to keep going. You've got to slow down slowly. Hazards on. My beacons are on so they can see the roof. I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down. There's still vehicles behind me. No one's getting over. I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down. You know, my, my rim is on the floor because the tire, I've just ran over the tire. I can see the tire get kicked out into lane two. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what am I going to do? I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down. Eventually come to a complete stop where I deemed it relatively safe because there were chevrons next to me where vehicles could move over and ride on the chevrons to get over. Um, add a look at the damage, managed to get the lift axle back up. Uh, and then I continued on to here where I am now, which is actually on a bit of a hard shoulder. So now I'm not impeding any live lanes whatsoever, but we'll require a lane closure later when we do the tire itself. But, oh, it's like, what can you do? Um, if there's no hard shoulder, what can you do? Dangerous. Smart motorways, rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Um, it's how accidents happen. Like, we need, we need hard shoulders. End of story. Right, just got off the phone. Uh, situation report is tire fitter has turned up. Uh, it has requested a lane one closure himself, um, which I said, yeah, that's fine. I said, I've been given a phone number to call when you turn up. So I give that number a call. He haven't answered. So I've had to phone highways e uh, agencies, highways England. Sorry, I had to give highways England main operating center a call. Told them where I am. They managed to find my log number, which is 704. Why are you going off? Um, yeah, anyway. The, I've requested a lane one closure, so someone should be out soon to, uh, to close the lane off. Yeah, tyre fit is just over there, so I'm going to go tell him now, and then um, we'll go from there. So it looks like the lane closure is coming into effect. Lovely jubbly. Get in there. Yeah, lane closure's coming into effect now, look. There we go. We're trying to put the tyre on without taking the rim off. Be quicker. That's what we're trying to do. Right, we're done. Tyres on. Said thank you to the highways guy. Say thank you to this guy. Cheers, mate.
manners don't cost anything. Reset suspension. Might be good just to drive straight off. Keep the hazards on. There we go. Lovely. Right, so we're in completely wrong lane. <laughs> we don't want to be going down here. Uh, we want to be going towards Heathrow Airport, but we've had to come off at this junction because of the blowout. I haven't taken my high vis off, I haven't had a chance. Just wanted to get off the road quickly. <sighs> don't want to be uh, interfering with everyone's journey too much today, so a lane one closure can now be reopened. That's the main thing. We're, uh, we're safe, tie has been done. We're just gonna crack on now to our next destination. But like I said, I was genuinely going to be vlogging today anyway. <laughs> Cameras were set up, ready to go. Um, and I was actually going to start vlogging when I got to my first job. But obviously, that happened. So I was like, oh, better start now then. Something interesting. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Right, I will see you when we are at the first drop and I'll talk to you then. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Oh, kitty do kitty. We are on the M4 still. Well, I say still, we come off the M4 and got back on. Like I said, we did need to come off at that uh, slip road, but we had to, so we had to park up somewhere safe. We're coming off at this junction, junction three. Uh, we're only a mile and a half away from our destination. Um, we've got a Range Rover coming over from lane two into lane one. I guarantee he's gonna wanna cut in front of me in the truck in front calling it this white Range Rover wants to get into this lane I'm calling it oh he's overtaking the next truck I would have let him in if he was indicating yeah he's getting over I called that I called that I don't think you can see from where you are but he is indicating <laughs> um, sometimes you can just you just know what people are going to do it's quite funny sometimes Anyway, yeah, um, we called the customer up originally when we left because it says on the paperwork, call when you're an hour away. So I did call them to let them know. Uh, this was pre-blowout. <laughs> so after I had the blowout, I called them back up again. It explained that I've had a blowout, fortunately, so I'm not actually going to be there when I said I will, but I'll give them a call when I'm on my way. And uh, we'll give them another call um, when, we, when we left again, just to say, you know, this is our ETA, be there about 11 o'clock. No worries, see you in a bit. It's quite tight. Uh, well, it's not tight at all, actually, but it's not a lot of room. So I think they've got to move stuff out of the way. It's sort of, well, you'll see in a second, it's sort of in a, um, how would you word it? Like a car park slash, um, what do you call them? Like where you've got like B&M and home base and all that sort of stuff in one area. <coughs> so, um, yeah, you've got to sort of turn right into to that complex and then turn right again at the roundabout and then there's some industrial, very small industrial units down there. They are last one on the left. That is what we're doing. I have no idea where we're going from here. I do like to guess. Um, we're only basically at Heathrow on the M4, so I could be sent back to Swindon, um, be it Tetbury or South Cerny to load up, could be sent back to there. Or I could be sent round the M25 to H&H, &H. done a lot of work for them recently near Seven Oaks, so I could be sent there. Don't think I'll be sent to Tilbury from where I am. So my guess would be Seven Oaks, South Cerny, or Tetbury. And if I had to pick one between the three, I'm gonna go Seven Oaks, because I think that's closest. But we'll see, I could be completely wrong. But I do like guessing, it's quite fun. We have a car transporter blocking my access to the road I want. I can smell, I can smell something. And I'm not sure if it's rubber or food. <laughs> not sure whether, it, whether it's the truck or not.
I'm not sure why these vehicles are trying to cut in front of me. Okay, we want to turn right again over here. Yeah, it's like maybe it's not home base sort of stuff, but like Tesco, Lidl. Oh, there's a plane wow low over there. Look, we're right next to Heathrow. Don't know if you can see the plane. Turn right into here. Costco, aren't they a, um, what are you going to call them? Cash and carry. There we go. And then we're turning right down here. I think we're going to end up reversing back out off the roundabout. Whoa, dickhead. Bloody car drivers. Right, and we're tipping down here where uh, the, this forklift is. So I think we'll just park up here for now, start getting the straps off, and then when that lorry's tipped, we'll uh, go on in, I think. I think that's all, when it's loaded, rather. Ah, that bloody car, I could, I could see that he was gonna do that. I could see he was gonna do it. I was prepared to stop, and I did bloody cars. Anyway, let's get this off. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we are at our first drop of the day. Just uh, doing our straps up. We're taking all the ratchets off. We're taking off all the corner boards. Now we're just doing all the straps. Um, there's a truck still in front being loaded. So by the time we're taking all this off, should hopefully be good to go. Pull forward and then um, then they can tip me. That's the plan anyway. Uh, I'm also about to message my boss just to ask what's next. So I will know in the next clip where I'm going next. Right, ended off. We just pulled forward. Um, so we're ready to be tipped now. Uh, I remember saying in the previous clip, we could be going to Swindon, we could be going to South Surrey could be going to Tetbury or could be going to Seven Oaks for the H&H &H blocks, uh, but we won't be going to Tilbury Docks is what I said. Anyway, so we're going to Tilbury Docks. <laughs> um, yeah, Tilbury Docks to Chip and Camden. So I suspect it'll be a night out tonight. What time is it? Uh, quarter past 11, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be a night out tonight. So we're going to get loaded from, from Tilbury Docks and then probably maybe even get to Chip and Camden, but I suspect it'll be a uh, delivery for tomorrow morning. Obviously tomorrow is Friday. So, happy days, get it off tomorrow. Would have been nice to get off today, but it is what it is. What can you do? Um, yeah, not out tonight, I suspect. Right, we're tipped. Seat belts are off. We're just gonna try and get out of here now. It doesn't look like anyone's gonna watch me back. So, we're just gonna have to go slowly out onto the roundabout. And go from there. Like I said, we are going to go to Tilbury Docks now. Should be there for about 20 past one, half past one, something like that. The fact you think you can get past me, mate, makes you ridiculous. Cheers for waiting. Okay, now we can go forward. Lovely jubbly. Does he know his door's open? Don't know if he knows his door's open. I'm pretty sure the van in front just went for a red light as well. How do you not know if your door's open? 
Never mind. <laughs> right, we're gonna get out of here, head towards Tilbury Docks, get loaded with, um, it'd be Pavestone. I think he put his hand up me. And uh, then we can make our way towards uh, Chip and Camden. Lovely jubbly. I did take a little walk. I've got my beacons on still. Maybe that's what he was doing. I did take a little walk down here. Got myself a subway. So that's for dinner later. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, you join me at Tilbury Docks. Let me just firstly apologise for the audio. I'm having issues with my microphone. Let me just put my window up. I'm having problems with my microphone. I've got two pieces. This one, which is what I wear on here, and then the other one, which is on top of the GoPro. And um, it's having connectivity issues. It's not turning on, it's not turning off. So um, I've just been bought a new one, so <laughs> um, slightly upgraded version. So um, I will have decent audio again. I'll probably be decent audio uh, later on in this video, but it's just becoming rather unreliable. So anything else. Anyway, uh, there's no dash cam footage because I haven't bothered turning that one on. We are here at Tilbury Ducks now. We've just got our paperwork and we're just driving in to the location to be loaded. There's nobody in here. So it looks like we'll be loaded straight away. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get this off today. We'll, um, we will try to get it off if we can, but I can't see it actually um, getting off to be honest. So what can you do? What can you do? This bloke's all right, he's a decent bloke. Right, so I'm going to put our destination into SatNav and then we'll be good to go when we're loaded. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are loaded. Loaded and ready to go. Right, let's get on out of here. Say bye to these guys. Very, uh, very nice guys here. They load you very quickly. Um, yeah. Nothing else to say really. <laughs> if you ever get loaded at TL, I think, is it TLC? Not TLC. I don't know. All right. Uh, either way, for, birth 44 at Tilbury Docks, get loaded with all this pavestone. Guys are spot on. Uh, they get you loaded very quickly, get you out of there, and uh, can't fault it really, just what you want. So we've got a gate pass, and we can now head to Chip and Camden. Our ETA there is uh, quarter past five. I'm pretty sure they ain't going to take a delivery. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think what time I got there last time. I ended up staying on site. I don't think I want to stay on site, if I'm honest, because internet wasn't great. It was very quiet there, don't get me wrong, but internet was not great. But there ain't a lot of other places to park anywhere nearby, so I don't know. Unless I stop, sort of stop like in Oxford. I've stopped in Oxford before in a lay-by. Um, it's a good hour away, but I might just do that to be honest. Tomorrow's Friday. I don't know, I, was, I might phone the boss and just double check what's planned for tomorrow. To make sure I don't actually need the driving time. And then uh, we can go from there. But yeah, we're loaded and we're good to go. Just got to get out of the docks. They're letting me through. Let this car go. Lovely jubbly, thank you, mate. Wait. HGVs, HGVs. I do wonder if we can actually use that other one. I always stay in this left hand side one. Hello mate. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad mate, you? Yeah, not too bad. Brilliant. Have a, yeah, you too, mate. Have a good day. 
He seemed rather friendly. Rather friendly indeed. Right, let's try and find this so we can get out without stopping. Come on, Land Rover, Freelander, whatever you are. Go, go, go! Yeah, so I've seen a little while. Um, yet to be decided where I'm stopping. Probably Oxford lay by. We will see. See you in a bit. And that is it. <laughs> I've actually decided to randomly stop um, early, to be honest with you. Uh, let me show you. So we've stopped in a lay-by uh, in Oxford. I've stopped here before many times. We're an hour and 15 minutes away from our destination. We're not going to get there today. I was originally going to park in a lay-by here. I know there's a lay-by there, but um, I don't know if it's free. <laughs> and if I get to that point and there is uh, no free lay-by, then we're kind of a little bit screwed. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to park here. It's an early finish. Well, I say early. It's five o'clock pretty much. Um... No, it's not five o'clock, sorry. It's four o'clock. Just gone four o'clock. Um, an hour and 15 there tomorrow, so not too bad. We wake up about half past five and we're, we're crack on. Get there um, just after six. And then, yeah. Good thing about being a lorry driver sometimes. You can just, you, you're not your own boss, but you kind of just can park up whenever you want, I suppose. The only thing it will affect, because I was originally going to be driving um, sort of like another 35 minutes. So all it will matter is uh, an extra 35 minutes tomorrow, driving time. That's the uh, the only thing that's going to matter. We've got someone parked up behind us now. I think there's toilets over there. That's what he's doing. So, um, yeah, parking up a little bit earlier today is only going to um, cost me 35 minutes of driving time tomorrow, maybe 40 minutes. But I've got 10-hour drives available anyway, so we should be good. I don't actually know what I'm doing tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Um, so that is actually going to be it for the end of this video. Um, I'm not sure how long it is. Might be short, might be long. I'm not entirely sure. But there's no point showing you Chip and Camden because I've been there loads of times. I've got it on camera loads of times as well. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.